I'm Maria Prokhorova and I made the project production of the project was based on collaboration of artists from different art fields uh, dance, performance art, light and sound design, and set design. We made two different performances with the same name, Soulmates, and showed them in two different cities Helsinki, Finland, and Petrozavodsk, Russia. As a spectator, I was experiencing unfamiliar, but at the same time exciting freedom in following the action. There was no fixed place for the audience, so I could move from one table to another easily. I was aware of the fact uh, that things which were not related to the performance, they were going on at own pace. Customers, some of the customers, they were um, dining and chatting, Waiters kept on serving them. Um, rays of sunlight were penetrating through big glass windows and one could even see and hear street traffic. I was so free um, to engage myself in different things in that cafe, but the performers were so strong in their action that I could, I was, I was actively engaged only in it. Such experience, um, such spectator's experience, inspired me for artistic research of the relationship between space and performance. As an artist, as a performer, I was really interested in, uh, in experiencing the borderline between artistic and spectator's worlds when performing and uh, audience spaces interflow. We found a cafe, Cafe Pirita in Helsinki. Uh, of course, I had a criteria of selection. Uh, we were making a dance piece, and of course, we needed to have enough space to move, first of all. We brought our lightning, uh, actually, pretty much of lighting. As it turned out, that our lay designer got really inspired with the choreography of the piece. Um, we had quite interesting experiment, experiment between dance and performance art. At some point there, was, there were two parallel actions going on. Uh, the audience was watching really attentively and silently. People were even hesitating to get more coffee if they wanted. If you ask if the performance was um, disturbing Cafe's life, I would answer that it was coexistent with it. I had another idea in the project that was uh, to take the same performance into the theater space, into the black box. So that was to adjust the performance into the new environment, actually.
I should say that there is a certain burden of tradition which comes to your shoulders once you get into the black box. The place doesn't inspire for experiments, but it really motivates you to perfect executing the things you are performing. The National Theatre of Karelia has um, very beautiful lobbies and we could not resist from the temptation to use them. The performance got a pathway from one of the lobbies to the stage and by changing the structure but uh, still leaving the same content, we actually got a new piece. Receiving, constructing and um, experiencing space, this is a process and uh, this is a matter of communication between your artistic ambitions and um, space properties.